What's up, everyone? It's your boy Giovanni, the G35 fan, back at it again with another video on the channel. So, guys, to all my new subscribers, thank y'all for subscribing to the channel, showing y'all support. My name is Giovanni, the G35 fan, and on today's video, guys, if y'all saw the title, I'm gonna be replacing my OEM stereo that I have on my G35. I'm gonna be replacing it with another OEM stereo. Uh, the reason for that being guys um, Pretty much my CD player isn't working. So uh, That's a common issue with the G35 the six CD changer. It starts to go out um, But me I like using CDs. I'm old-fashioned I do have a Bluetooth transmitter in uh, my cigarette lighter that you know I use the quality and sound isn't as good as the stereo or as the CD player so in the future I, I do want to you know change that out but right now that's not really priority as far as for looks it's just I want something to listen to my music so um, I have a good friend a really good friend who's who's humble and he's also a youtuber who also has a g35 I don't know if you've heard of him if you haven't y'all need to subscribe to this channel man because he is a great dude he is he has a build on his G35 and also on his Montero. He has a lot of, you know, other little videos on how to do stuff. And just all in all, really good dude. And um, I wanted to show my appreciation. Before I start this video, just show my appreciation to him. He ended up getting me the stereo. Um, I, I wasn't really expecting him to, you know, come through and get me a stereo. But um, I, I offered to, you know, pay something. But he's like, no, I'll just ship it out to you, man. Just, you know, just get your stereo working and, you know, it's all good. So, shout out to you, Wrenchance, man. He is a very good dude, man. And just wanted to show show my support, man. Thank you for, um, you, know, you know, hooking me up with the stereo. Hopefully, that's all it is. It's just, the, you know, the, the stereo and nothing major. But shout out to you, man. Check his channel out. And greatly appreciate Louise, man. Uh, but like always, man, been talking too much, so let's get this video started. All right, guys. So, like I had mentioned, you see how I have the wood trimming. I would have to match it with this and the door panel trim. I would have to do all that. So. I'm just going to leave that for another time, you know, when I, you know, feel like upgrading the interior look of the G. For the most part, I'm just going to replace this. Hopefully everything works. So the issue that I'm having, guys, is when I push CD and load and like number one, I guess you can say, I have to wait, which is, you know, common. But after that, it's supposed to say insert CD. It doesn't do that. I try putting in a CD. It doesn't grab. It just goes back to the radio station so hopefully like I said it's just the back of the CD player and that's all it is um, I do have a little wear and tear on the buttons but you know that's all right I, I don't really care about that so um, in order to take this off guys uh, I'm gonna use one of these little plastic spatula thingies I guess you can say and uh, remove everything so right now the first thing you're gonna want to do is put your car in neutral the reason why you want to put it in neutral is so that way you, you're able to take this and remove it. If it's in a gear, it's going to be a, a pain in the butt to remove. So you're going to want to take off your your shift knob. Mine's custom made so I could just take it off. And then with this, you're going to, I believe right here and right here is where there's clips. So you want to use your little, what do you call it, spatula thing and pop it off here and pop it off here and it should pop off just like that and then you're gonna want to pick it up and then pull it toward you know the middle console and that should all come off like that and then with this because mine's custom made I'm gonna have to wiggle this like that and that should pop it off like that and then I'm just gonna put this back in gear like that and then I'll shut off the car now the reason why I shut off the car is because I'm gonna end up disconnecting the negative uh, terminal on the battery that way when I 
you know, work on anything electrical. I don't want nothing to short out or, you know, cause anything to blow a fuse. So, uh, yeah, I have the car off now, have it in park. Everything's good. That way I don't have to keep it in neutral and have my foot on the brake. And we'll do that in a little bit as far as t removing that. But since I'm right here, you're going to need like a flathead tip. That way you can take apart this little harness and then from then on i'm gonna have to get a phillips screwdriver because there's gonna be a screw here and a screw here that i gotta remove and there's gonna be some screws back there that i gotta remove too that are also phillips so i'm gonna do that and then we're also gonna remove this plate right here we can probably already move it already because i've already did some work right there when i hid the uh the wires for the radar detector and then we could just start taking this apart because I'm not gonna be doing anything electrical so I'm just gonna pop this off like that you don't want to break any clips and then with this you're gonna just pull this off like that and then there should be a screw right there that you're gonna take off too and that removes this whole bracket and all that so we're also going to be removing this piece of trim. So that's why I'm using this little plastic piece because I don't want, you know, to break anything. So you're just going to go like this. Like that. Pop it off. like that and there we go this is my old uh, LED lights I need to get some new ones those went out so now that I have all that removed and that now with my Phillips screwdriver or your drill you're gonna remove these two screws right here because they're supporting the uh, side panels if I were you, I would put these in the cup holder. That way you don't lose them. And then as you see, you have a little, you know, tab right there and tab right there. You just pick it up. It goes over like that. And then you're going to have clips right here, clips right here, clips right here. But what I do is just like right here, I just pick it up and it just pops out like that. Same thing right here. Look. If it doesn't work on this side, what I learned is right here, right here, there's a clip. So, just pop it open right there. Alright, so, I got it removed. Not gonna lie, it was kind of difficult. I honestly think it was getting caught back here for some reason. So, if that's the case, you might have to adjust this. But, I was able to get it out. So, now, I can go back here with my screw. Uh, Phillips screw and loosen these screws up. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to remove it because I don't uh, want you to think it's easy. It's not really that easy being that the shift knob is right here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to get it at an angle. So you're going to, it's kind of hard with one hand, but what you're going to do is pull it towards you, right? Pick it up like this and then turn it sideways so that way it clears the shift knob and then you can maneuver it out just like that so now that I have it removed I'm gonna have to remove this screw and this screw because uh, that's what's holding this uh, face plate uh, now what's left to do is to remove all these screws so that this piece right here for the stereo it will release and it should come out and then all I got to do is put the new one in, line up the screws, 
and then re-secure it. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay guys, so I already removed the four screws on each side and then the two in the front. But being that I still want to utilize and use this uh, plate, I don't want to put the other plate on. Uh, you're going to have to remove four screws. So the four screws are one right here, one right here, right here, and right here. You're going to remove those four. And once you remove it, this whole plate should just pop off. But um, what you're going to have to remember is this little card right here, this little circuit board, it's going to plug into this right here. So in order to remove it, they have these little tabs on the side that you're going to have to prop, you know, open. So that way this little uh, circuit board right here can just pop right out. Once that pops out, then you should be able to remove this. All right, guys. So the way you're going to uh, take out this is you're gonna kind of open this up a little bit and with two hands it's gonna go this way and then once that happens it just pops out just like that and then i'm gonna use this one uh this is the front plate right here this, this goes in the front and then it just slides right there because these are the little brackets that line up all right guys was able to put this back in i had to use two hands sorry i didn't get it on video but you get the the gist of what i'm trying to do so i put it back in the only thing i'm concerned about is if this is long enough as you can see this one's a little bit longer but i'm gonna put this in that little circuit board right here and then butt everything up and we'll see what happens so i'm gonna do that right now all right guys so I'll put the cover plate back on I got that in there, tightened it up, and then with the tape, I just secured it a little bit more. That way it doesn't come loose. But I got everything on, so I'm going to put all the screws back together. And then with all these connections, put them back where they're supposed to go. And put it all back together. Alright guys, so as soon as I connected the harness, the uh, CD player started uh, rotating. You can hear it working. Uh, it was kind of fun. To put this all back in together uh, I ended up having to open this little cubby hole and tried to guide it in because the wires uh, were getting caught down here but I was able to feed them back there so now as you can see everything's lined up I just got to screw it all back together once I do that I'll just re redo all the steps and uh, put everything um, back together and it should all work Alright guys, got everything put back together. As you can see, it's really dark outside. I kind of did this kind of late, but it is what it is guys. So, without further ado, let's see if everything works. Got the radio. All right, all right, got some Drake. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for that. Let's see, eject circuit one. Number one. Come on, baby. All right, it works, guys, it works. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Now I can listen to some music. Load, let's see, load. 
number one let's put the CD back in wait insert CD loading CD reading alrighty so it's working guys I got it to work so hopefully this video wasn't confusing uh, it's kind of hard to do everything with just one hand and then the angles that I was trying to get in um, you know really wasn't working with me but I did get everything to work so that's a good thing right there I mean if you have any questions let me know but like I said there is videos out here on how to do it so that being said guys like always if this is your first time tuning in do me a favor hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the content and uh that's pretty much it guys like always y'all have a great day stay safe out there peace